and Jessica's going to give everybody a, a map. And we'll have uh, Jessica and Jesse to help show us around. Some of our students from Kujuak could also be guides for us. This morning, so we went, we flew into Kujuak, which was a great experience because um, I got to see how some other people live and it's way different than how I'm used to living. And also I got to meet some really cool people that are from Kujuak and they um, helped me teach me some words like iki, which means I'm cold. <laughs> Spam them, hit the deep, duck me back, and attack with that with the pack, pack to the match, and the great and tat, no lips up the bridge, but the pistol fix with the fix, make a fix, and nothing flip to forget what's sitting in the music. I know it's a sit, you can just put the book in this, just kiss me in this, I mean for a nick, I'm not where it with the fix that gets you dead. I think the game was free for the thing, but the hate to fit in me, I run for the real meat, and finish with the best of the list, the kids with the best of the left. Here I am in my youth with my loved one with my kids. <laughs> yeah! Sick, right? and, uh, boys back in the days, they used to throat sing, and the way, uh, the reason why they used to throat sing was to keep warm and to keep themselves uh, busy. Throat singing now is more for an event or show. Yeah. We were all just standing around the ATV casually, and out of nowhere. Um, one of the locals said, oh, I'll show you how to uh, beatbox and everyone started swarming in and we just got a nice circle going. Then we were talking about doing, I think, knuckle hops in all the games and whatnot. And uh, then we just started going at it with each other, testing strength and seeing what we could do, how high we could jump, how strong we were. Wait, are we on what? We're on nine. Oh, and cheat, cheat. Why no, oh, oh, no. If you say bullshit, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, did you say something? Did you say something? Well, hello, students on ice, and welcome aboard. We made it. Does it feel good to be here? When the nature is surrounding me and it's all around me, I feel peace. When I was in Gujarapik, it's like almost the same as this. And I used to walk around the nature and I used to stay there until my curfew. When I was in Ottawa, I felt a little bit homesick and I just wanted to go home. Right now, I don't want to go home anymore. <laughs> I just want to stay here for like forever if I can. <laughs>